Hey there friends, you must be hearing a lot about the importance of confidence from everyone online. That confidence is key to success in many fields of life. I'm sure you do know you need confidence to get the job or be popular at school or just a pay a strong person in general. You know, confidence is like that secret sauce that adds flavor to how we present ourselves. But what really is confidence and how do we gain this power? Confidence is simply a coordinated system that works together to make you appear stronger than you are. It's like concealing your weakness with a coat of thick layer of foundation. For example, if you are short, you wear high heels to appear taller than you are. This concept applies to both physical and mental cues. You can use your body language and psychological tricks to create this magical power called confidence. The opposite of confidence is fear. We all have to deal with some kind of fear. Even the most extroverted celebrity you see on stage has to deal with nervousness. You don't have to be fearless all the time. Confidence is not not having fear, but it's managing your fear and nervousness. So let's learn how to exude confidence. Ever notice that people who hold your gaze come across as more confident? Steady eye contact shows you're engaged and confident. No need to stare intensely, just remember to connect those eyes with friendly vibe. If you struggle looking into someone's eyes, try to look into their nose. It gives the illusion you're not scared of eye contact. Picture this, imagine a string pulling you up from the top of your head. Standing tall not only makes you look more confident, but it also does wonders for your posture. Bad posture indicates you want to hide and you're insecure about your body. Trust me, this simple change can make a huge difference. You know those little fidgy habits we all have, like taping fingers or playing with your hair? Well, reading them in cape can help you appear more composed and in control. A moderate hand gesture while talking is fine, but overdoing it makes you appear awkward and shy. So keep control of your body and movements. It must be hard at first, but then you'd get used to it over time. Crossed arms can sometimes signal defensiveness, so try to keep your gesture open, like letting your arms rest by your sides. It's like saying, hey, I'm open and approachable. You've got amazing things to say, so say them with confidence. Skip the ums and ahs and speak at pace that let your words shine. Keep your tone not too high or low. Vibrate your vocal cord a little while talking can make you sound powerful. Your voice matter, so let it be heard. While apologizing is great when needed, overdoing it can chip away your confidence. Instead of saying sorry all the time, try thanking people for their patience while simply explaining the situation. It's a subtle shift that shows you're owning your space. Imagine this, you're sitting comfortably, taking up the space you deserve. Sitting at the edge of a chair can make you look smaller and less confident. So go ahead and lean back a bit. Your face is like a canvas of emotions. A genuine smile and the right expression can make your confidence shine even brighter. No need to tense up, just let your face tell a story along with your words. You don't have to have calculated emotions and gesture like a robot. Confidence is just being calm and being present in the moment. In your sentences with lower inflection, it makes you sound more self-assured compared to ending it with higher inflection. We sound like you aren't sure of what you're saying. Make your tone sound like whatever you're saying is 100% accurate and you believe in what you're saying. The first thing people notice about you is your walk. You might think models got the strongest walk, but wrong. Is it politicians? Have you seen a politician walk before? Well, when they walk into a room, they don't seem nervous. Their eyes aren't fixed on one thing, and as they walk into a room, they observe the entire room while walking to their destination. It doesn't seem obvious, it's subtle and so natural, you wouldn't even notice they scan the entire room. Just observe politicians and take notes from their powerful walk. So, my friends, let's remember that confidence isn't about acting like you know it all. It's about embracing who you are and letting that awesome self assuredness radiate through your body language. Let's rock those interactions with confidence and leave a lasting positive impression. Thank you for watching.